Number 14. For a precipitation reaction to be useful in a gravimetric analysis, the product of the reaction must be insoluble. Is the Kc greater than 1, less than 1, or roughly equal to 1 for a useful precipitation reaction? Okay. So they're saying for a precipitation reaction, the product must be insoluble. So let's just do a... a a, um, a precipitation reaction. I'll do the net ionic equation just to kind of make it simple. Let's just say that I have silver, which is a plus one ion, and that's aqueous because it's an ion, and I'm reacting it with chloride ion, that's a Cl minus one, and they come together and we're going to form, or maybe it will come to equilibrium, right? But generally it's going to form the A. GCl, silver chloride, and by our solubility rules, that is a solid, all right? So here's my precipitation net ionic equation. And as you can see here, this is the solid that I'm forming. This is the precipitate. Okay, now, in order for a precipitation reaction to be useful, the product has to be insoluble. Once you make that, that compound, do you think that it's going to want to break down into its ions? No, that's what insoluble means. Insoluble means for the, for the majority, most of the time, it's going to stay as a solid. It will not break down into the ions. And sorry that some of these right? It won't break down into its ions, which means that the reverse reaction going from AgCl to uh, your ions are not really going to be happening, right? Generally speaking, the ions are going to come together and form the precipitate. So in a tug of war, right, which side do you think is going to be more of? Do you think that we're going to have more of the solid if we're staying you know, insoluble, or are we going to have more of the reactants? Yeah, totally. We're going to have more of the product side. Once you make that solid, it's not going to go back to its ions. So you're going to have more products. And more products specifically at equilibrium, right? So now we just jump down to here. We should technically know what the three of these mean, but we're just shooting down to here. Remember, if you're favoring the product side at equilibrium, if you have more products, in this case we do, the Kc value will always be greater than 1. So in this case, to answer the question, the Kc would be definitely greater than 1. And we're not talking about like 10. We're talking about big numbers, like 1 times 10 to the, I don't know, 7th or something, like a really, really, really big number. But that just shows you that this side is favored over the um, ions, all right? So that's the answer for 14, all right? So thank you for tuning in. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I hope you guys are having a great day and that you're studying hard. I'm rooting for you on your future tests and quizzes. You guys got this, all right? Chem isn't hard, just kind of concepts and math, but I know you guys got this. And I'll be here every step of the way, all right? I will see you all in later lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye.